let's go guys very important video today i am going to tell you what i think is going to be next for bitcoin ethereum cardano and crypto in general guys are we going to go down all the way to fifty-seven thousand dollars and fill this CME gap i will share my opinion on that i will also update you on my trade here on bybit when am i going to close this trade lots of other stuff guys but welcome back everybody my name is cristiano bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day if you are new to this channel make sure to subscribe right now because i tell you what is next for the bitcoin price and other cryptos as well when it comes to ta and also bring you the top altcoins to pay attention to right guys but let's go straight into bitcoin and we are actually not going to start at the cme gap we are going to start at my support and resistance levels because yes you can see that from the top here at 61,500 and this was always going to be very strong uh, resistance sorry this was strong resistance this psychological level at $61,000 and $60,000 and then you had that target actually uh, like I said on the 13th of March you also had that $61,000 uh, resistance from the target of the huge triangle so it was decent uh, resistance at this level but we actually pushed a bit higher and then we had that retracement and right now you can see that we are right at the orange box right here this is going to be pretty strong support for Bitcoin but this can only hold for so long and I'm going to show you what I think is next for Bitcoin overall but yes so far we have actually had a 6.6 percent crash so now we are crashing all the way down to where we were two days ago right so we always have to put this into perspective we were at these levels two days ago and still people are panicking right now guys this is perfect for Bitcoin look the same people who were panicking when uh, Bitcoin went from $58,000 all the way down to $43,000 while I was screaming that this was a buy-in opportunity, well, I mean, this is when you make money. You make money when the price is going down generally because you buy at a lower price and then you ride it all the way up. So this is my style of trading. You already know that. And yes, you don't want to buy all the way up here as we are breaking all time high after all time high after all time high. I mean, the way to trade this was to trade the breakout right here off of the orange box and then take profit as you go up, ideally at these levels. But if you were buying up here after a, what was that, 10% pump in a day, then you are FOMOing and it's always better to wait for a better opportunity. And as I'm saying that, we are right now going down. And what is this meaning? Well, it means that the orange box here is trying its best to keep the price up. You can pretty much see it right here. It's trying to pre uh, press the price up. And also the orange line right here is also giving it a final push before we probably, at this point, go down and test these levels. Now, before we talk about Ethereum, Cardano and uh, markets in general, let me talk about the CME gap because you can see that right now we are at 57,600, right? So you have the CME gap at, well, between 57,275 and 58,665. So how are the CME gaps formed? Well, the CME chart, they are trading Bitcoin, but they are not open on, uh, on weekends. So what happens is that you have a price going into Friday, you close the market, and then when you open up on Monday, the price can be different. So that creates this gap. So in this case, the 14th of March, sorry, 12th of March, we closed at this level, 57,305. And then when we opened up, we were opening up at 58,730. So these CME gaps, sometimes they come down and fill this gap before they go up again. Now, how should you interpret this? I mean, should you be trading on these CME gaps? I would say no. I mean, this is just one thing you need to pay attention to when it comes to your trading strategy overall. This is one data point, but I would not, it's not as simple as just, you know, uh, if you have a CME gap, you just short from the top. No, that's not how it works. Although it seems to, I mean, if you look at the CME gap right here, for, for instance, you also have a CME gap. You can see that we opened up and we went up and then we came down, closed this gap before it went up again. So, I mean, it is the data point you need to pay attention to, but it's not the end all be all for crypto. So let's get back to my support and resistance levels. And yes, you can see that we are indeed now. I mean, it's still trying to make some magic, but if you look at this on a larger scale, what is going to invalidate the bullish structure of Bitcoin? So far, this is not invalidated at all. If we go to the four hour chart, this is still looking good for Bitcoin. We're still making higher, I mean, let me take away this. I mean, still clearly making higher lows here, low, 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 
and low. So if this remains intact, I wouldn't be too worried. And again, if we come down to any of my uh, orange boxes right here, I mean, we are at a small orange box right now. Let's see if this orange box is going to hold the Bitcoin price up on the four hourly chart. I mean, this is a huge red candle, but orange boxes in general are many times good buying opportunities. So I will tell you what, I am going to be buying at these orange lines. And if we reach the uh, orange box right here, I am going to put in some buy orders, laddering them like this, okay? So from this level and down, I am going to ladder them in case we get that wick down. And also I'm going to ladder a couple of bids here if we get that wick from the, uh, from the orange box right here. So that's what I am going to do here in the short term, guys. And if you want to start trading yourself, you're able to get insane bonuses using my referral link. So $200 on Bybit, $200 on Femex, and $988 on Ctrade. So overall, as usual, pay attention to all of these levels and you know my strategy and we will see how it goes. Usually you make the most money when you buy at the low and then you ride it to the upside. Don't panic. Don't be too invested. We talked about this in the video yesterday that people are over leveraged. People are really over leveraged. And if you saw a, a bit of a small dump, that would cascade down. And yes, this is actually a decent correction so far. But still remember, we were here two days ago. So no panic. Just don't buy at an all time high. Don't over leverage yourself. Buy the dips and you are going to be fine. Now, People laughed at me yesterday when I said that if the traditional markets were to go down, actually, let's talk about the traditional markets before we talk about Ethereum and Cardano. So yesterday, um, we opened up yesterday night on traditional markets and you saw a couple of red candles going down. I mean, traditional markets, we went down by, well, 0.60% uh, on the S&P 500 on the futures. Now, this is the futures. The real markets are going to be opening up in... Uh, what is that? Eight hours or so, I believe. And yes, you were prepared for this because you watched my video yesterday saying that the next 12 hours are vital for Bitcoin and that you were going to see the traditional markets opening up. And as usual, that always brings the Bitcoin and the crypto prices down with them if they go down like this. So people were laughing at me yesterday for pointing out that we could actually see Ethereum go down to 1,800 and then eventually 1,734. So this is why, I mean, you should filter out the people who are just disillusioned because they are heavily invested in Ethereum or Bitcoin or whatever it is. You always have to stay realistic. And if you stay realistic long term, that is when you are going to make the most amount of money in crypto. Because look at this. We've had a, what is that, almost 10% drop here on Ethereum yesterday and today. But look, we also had that right here. In fact, this was actually 16% and people were panicking and we went down a bit more. We actually had another 13%. All in all, this uh, correction was 23%. So was this bad? Was this price action bad for your overall crypto portfolio? Well, if you bought the dip, I mean, you're right now sitting from the bottom of this dip at 45% uh, in gains. So that's not too bad. You just have to play the market and play the cards you are dealt. Buying the dips, that is the strongest thing to do. So for Cardano, this level needs to hold for Cardano. Now we have seen the consolidation we have been expecting here. I would say that this consolidation is pretty decent. We've been seeing it for uh, 10, 11 days already. So time-wise, that's good for Cardano, but then we need to see this level hold. So uh, the $1 level needs to hold for Cardano or else we are going to have a quick little down spike to 80 cents. Now, as usual, I am going to trade this volatility. So on Cardano, I'm going to put in trades on Femex and I will keep you updated regarding that, guys. So my trade over on Bybit, $1,200 in profit still. I am going to keep this open for now, but remember this, the funding rate is very high right now. So you have to be careful still, even though we've seen this drop, the funding rate is uh, very high. And so, yes, look at that, like magic, guys. My Like magic, on my four hourly chart here, Orange box is acting as very strong support and also orange line right here. Strong support. Can we have that bounce? This is why I'm saying buying off of the orange boxes is usually a very good idea. And then you take profit as we approach the next couple of levels. I am going to be putting in a new orange box eventually. I am still analyzing the situation and I will keep you updated regarding where I put that next orange box so that if you want to take profit at that level, like you saw here as we were going up, if you took profit right here at $58,000, you had several opportunities to buy in lower, taking profit again, 
by lower off of the orange line here. And yeah, but you all know about that already. I will keep you updated as usual. Make sure to subscribe if you are not yet subscribed to this channel. Make sure to also check in my five coins to five millions of top alt coins right there. And I will see you. It's, that video is actually popping up in the middle of this video right now. So if you want to jump into it right now, jump into it. Click in the middle of this video. I will see you there.